What up, folks? I am UltraZilla. Today I have a review of the YMSF Cthulhu. That's right, my zillions. YMSF expanding with Cthulhu here from HP Lovecraft. And uh, man, I've been so looking forward to this ever since he showed the first prototypes of it. Uh, and they got some nice illustration there, Cthulhu girl. Uh, this is awesome. Here's some info you might want. And uh, yeah, speaking of Cthulhu Girl, we get a little acrylic standee here with the first pre-orders. And oh man, I'm so excited about this, for real. I've wanted a real, like, Cthulhu action figure. And uh, a vile figure is the way to go. Uh, why not, you know? Uh, you know, articulated is good too. But I like me some vinyl and uh, this is awesome. And it's awesome to see a header card on the YMSF stuff. It really, really is. This is so awesome. So I'm very, very excited. I ordered mine through YMSF themselves at, uh, on Instagram, uh, which you could always do. So do check them out there. This particular one is sold out now, but uh, I'm assuming there's gonna be other color variants in the future. But for now, without any further ado, let's get to the review. So there's the Dark Lord all out of the package, but first, you do get this pre-order bonus, and it is a acrylic standee of this Cthulhu girl, scantily clad Cthulhu girl. It looks really good, actually. Really nice artwork. Uh, so you could take that and put it in there, and you can stand it with your Cthulhu if you want, or wherever you would like to to do. But it's it's very nice. Um. Probably not going to do. I'll probably just keep it like this, um, you know, just store it away or I don't know. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it looks really good and it's a nice little bonus. But get into Cthulhu himself. First up, articulation. The arms move at the shoulders, and the waist moves, and the tail moves. So that is all the articulation you're getting. Take a look at this guy in full. It's beautiful. It's everything I wanted. Proportions are beefy. <laughs> uh, he went with a real beefcake. <laughs> Cthulhu, and I don't mind it. I think it looks awesome. I love it. It's a very, like, 90s extreme studio. Extreme! Um, I, I just, I really, I, I dig that. I don't know. I dig it. He's got muscles. He's got leg muscles he is amazing i i really really like this a lot guys i i do it looks so good sculpt wise it is phenomenal paint looks great i love the black nails down here i like it's kind of sort of webbed feet uh it does have a very creature of the black lagoon type feel especially down here you know the way the brush strokes well the sculpt scopes sculpt strokes go upwards um I, I do like it i think it looks really really good and that black is nice over the green and then you can see that there's like little hints of yellowish around and that looks really good it's like mixed in look at that leg look at that calf boy that's this dude does not skip leg day that is excellent really really great you can see some of that yellow peeking through in the buttocks uh, and then in the tail as well, which looks really, really nice. And I love this tail because it is flat on the bottom and you use it to help him stand. That's very, very good because the way he sculpted this out, it's flat this way, but the legs come out and there's no um, articulation in the legs. So the legs come out a little bit forward. Um, so you do need a tail if you put the tail up that's gonna happen so you do need that tail uh to keep them nice and flat and that's fine bottom you just see the paint strokes which is fine uh the tail looks really nice really nicely sculpted really nicely painted i do uh, like it going up the back everything looks fantastic again that black paint on the green with that little hints of yellow looks awesome the back of the wings look very, very good. I really like the 
texture of the wings. Very nicely done. And there's this gloss to everything that makes it feel wet. And I like that. You can see the end, the tips here are all black, which looks great. His back looks really good. That side looks really good. We'll go around this way, I guess. The front of the wings looks awesome as well. Dig that, the segments look great. Super, super good. Well, the wings kind of almost move a little bit, um, but it's not really articulated. Looks awesome though. Shoulder pads look really good. It's like armored, you know? Look at his arm. And again, webbed hands, very Creature of the Black Lagoon-esque, and I really like that. Just really good stuff there. See the inside of his arm is all like muscle and stuff and really nice black paint. The front of the legs look awesome. You do have all this awesome musculature again. And then you got, you know, this armor bits here, like scoots, like a dinosaur, which is cool. So scaling, if you will. Side, you got some ribs, you got some more muscle. And what I like about all of the muscle, it's like very sinewy, you know? Um, look at the back here. Really, really good. I, I like that. You know, it makes it feel like it's, even though it's green, it looks like raw muscle. Uh, and that is uh, a really cool effect. Crotch looks really good up here. All of it is like nicely like scaled, armored, you know? I, I do dig that. And then as you go upwards, you lose the chest in all of the awesome tentacles. Look at that. That looks phenomenal. Really like the tentacles on this guy. They're smooth, but I like them a lot. You know, there's no wrong way to do a Cthulhu tentacle. Uh, and this looks fantastic. Really, really like it. And I like how it goes all the way upwards, you know, into this like mid brow here and like the nose area and it scrunches down and you get these awesome red eyes, uh, which look great and menacing and evil and you can see he's just got like a mean look about him so awesome and i just you can see how all you know the like i said there's yellowish in here and greens and you know it all kind of blends together really really well it comes together so awesomely on the face with that black wash just it's pretty superb i gotta say Top of the head looks amazing. Look at all of this. Look at the back of the head here. And the side, man. And all the tentacles again, you know, coming forwards. Like his beard, you know what I'm saying? Ah, so good. Love all of this, how it goes up into the head. It just creates like a really cool profile too. So that is amazing. It's, it's a great looking piece. It is so awesome. I love the colors. It's just, you know, it's just right for me. I, I just dig it. He's shown a, a few other colors that are uh, really cool. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be using them as variants or if he's just testing. But there's one that's green and gold and you know how I'm saying yellows here. Um, there's like some gold in there that really pops as well. So that's a nice one. I, I'm gonna say I'm totally happy though with this and uh, I'm good. This is, this is gorgeous. This is exactly what I've wanted from a Cthulhu figure. It's a beefy, stocky, awesome, muscle bound Cthulhu <laughs> Sofubi and uh, YMSF, you knocked this one out of the park. It's fantastic. For your size comparisons, first up, here's a bunch of other YMSF figures you might have in your collection. So you can see it's a totally different scale. This is a big, big boy. Here is uh, the Lord of Darkness with a couple of other Sufubi you might have in your collection. And it scales and looks really, really good with the seismic uh, Jairus here. Really nice. And finally, here it is with the only other Cthulhu piece I have in my collection, and that is the Diamond Select Bust, which is absolutely incredible as well. But I'm glad to have an actual figure, you know what I'm saying?
And my final thoughts, this thing is incredible. I absolutely love it. I mean, I've been glowing the entire time about it. It is just awesome. It, uh, it kind of exceeded my expectations. You know, I've been waiting for this for quite a bit and uh, I'm really glad it turned out fantastic. You know, this first one out of the gate is, is the regular Cthulhu. You know what I'm saying? It's the one I kind of wanted. Um, so I'm glad I was able to get it. It does come with a really cool little Cthulhu girl uh, acrylic piece, but it's the figure itself that just, you know, knocks me out. Beautiful sculpt. I love, love, love the beefiness of it. I don't know. It's just, it just works for me as an old school comic guy. It, it works for me anyway. Uh, you know, I just think it's so good like that. It just, it's a, a great idea. It, it's like a Heisei uh, Cthulhu, you know what I'm saying? From that era of Godzilla, all that beefiness is all in this figure. I love it. I love it. The paint is superb. It's just perfect exactly where it is. I really like it. Uh, the eyes are just nice and beady and uh, I don't know. It's great. It is a great figure, guys. Um, if you're looking to get a Cthulhu, this might be the one for you, except it's currently sold out. So you're going to have to wait for a variant on it. Uh, or a reissue of these colors. I'm not sure how he's doing it yet, but do stay tuned to his Instagram. There will be news forthcoming, I'm sure, because this one sold out super quick. Um, so the money is there to be made, and I'm sure uh, he's going to make more. So definitely do pay attention uh, because this is well worth your while. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace out, peace.